Congo. His Excellency Joseph Kabila Kabange, President of the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Welcome to NCL Tours. We offer flights to worldwide destinations. We provide holiday packages, hotels and transportation. We run luxury coach trips to European destinations across France, Germany, Switzerland and many more. To book a holiday to any destinations around the world, please visit our website on www.nceltours.co.uk or why not give us a call to speak to one of our travel experts on 0208 900 1624. NCL Tours at all protected. Hello, it's June. Welcome to Queen Charlie Where You Reach Show.
Hello, my name's Soham and I'm a chocolatier. Soham, tell me what is the difference to your chocolate to everything else? Well, my chocolate is basically um, what we call raw chocolate and uh, we make this chocolate not past 40 degrees Celsius and most other chocolates out there are actually roasted, the beans get roasted uh, over 115 Celsius to um, bring out the aroma but the difference is with uh, chocolate that's raw it's a lot healthier for you and um, even the doctors are recommending it uh, for health and uh, it makes you happy um, you know, and on top of that, I handmade these chocolates using um, non-refined sugar, um, some essential uh, oils, and, uh, and make it lovingly in small batches. And I include a little tiny message on the back of it so that uh, people can be reminded of um, the essence of some of um, what, what I'm intending to put into the chocolates, which is a nice quality. What gave you the idea in the first place? Well, raw chocolate has been uh, becoming more and more popular in um, England and the rest of the world um, since uh, dis the rediscovery of uh, the natural cacao bean and a lot of um, health uh, advocates and uh, raw fooders have been uh, experimenting, exploring uh, raw cacao for the last several years and some dear friends of mine were telling me about it so I decided to try it and I found that it has given me, um, uh, you know, a great health. Uh, uh, it makes me feel good. I'm happy and blissful, and I wanted to share it with everybody else. Is your background in well-being? Yes, I'm a holistic therapist by training, and I'm always um, studying on nutrition. Um, I've been trained in many different modalities to help uh, myself and others uh, stay balanced and in harmony. And also, I love the idea of uh, um, this concept of youthing and uh, staying young and vit vital. So how can people get hold of your chocolate? Well, I have a website. It's called yummymechoc.com and uh, they can order online or you can always call me personally. I can give you my phone number now, 07944-250195. And I'm very happy to uh, have any discussions or tell you a little bit more about uh, my chocolates and how it can benefit you. How many different types of chocolates do you create? I, at this point, have nine, um, I call them nine intentions. Um, I have love, I have bliss, I have passion, uh, serenity, clarity, innocence, um, gratitude, uh, celebration, and uh, clarity. What is your favorite? Oh, I have several. I love the love uh, chocolate because it um, has rose otter, which helps to open the heart and makes you feel yummy. And I also love um, the clarity because it gives my brain a lot of focus. I put blue-green algae in that. Um, and uh, gratitude is always lovely because it's a rich chocolate with coconut and macadamia nut, so that's a lovely uh, product to have and then to give away uh, to others as a, an appreciation gift. Would you say this is one of the healthiest chocolates on the marketplace? Um, indeed. Um, I do not put any preservatives, any fillers um, or soy lecithins. It's absolutely pure and it's as pure as, as I can get the, from the ingredients into a chocolate bar to you. And you really feel that this is a great well-being product? Um, just so you know, I eat my chocolate every day and I give it to people and everybody loves it. And um, uh, in the old days when I used to eat chocolate as a young child, I used to have problems because the, the kind of chocolate that I was um, eating was just a commercial chocolate and it had all kinds of um, additives, sugar, and it was roasted at high temperatures and I would break out in uh, pimples and, and have sore throats. And um, with the raw chocolate, it's completely different. Uh, alchemically. 
So yes, you can eat it every day and even the doctors recommend having a little piece uh, to heart patients. Heart and stroke patients benefit greatly from it. It's rich in uh, um, minerals, um, especially magnesium and, um, and high in antioxidants, which of course um, deals with free radicals that causes, anti uh, causes the aging process. So it is a very good and healthy uh, um, alternative to um, medicines or um, drugs out there. And it makes you happy. Would you just like to pick up one of your chocolates and just show the camera exactly what they look like? Yes, here is one called Celebration. And uh, Celebration is one that has pecans and maple syrup and I uh, um, often ask people to, t um, to share and celebrate. The whole idea is to celebrate with others. Okay, so um, thank you very much indeed. We thank you for your well-being products, and we look forward to seeing you again. Thank you very much. Today we are in the world. We are going to talk about well-being. Hello. Hi Charlie, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Nice to meet you. And you, thank you for coming to Wales. Thank you. Can you introduce yourself please and tell me what I'm doing? Yes, um, well-being for women. Uh, when you reach about the age of 40, you feel like you start to um, uh, get drained a little bit of energy. So um, with my Black Labrador, Bruce, mm -hmm. um, I've come up with a really great um, fitness regime oh. where we incorporate uh, lots of well-being, healthy eating for not just um, the ladies that I work with, but also the animals. Uh, raw diet is very important, mm -hmm. but also getting out in exercise and incorporating yoga wow. with your dog now, which is, it's called uh, Doga. Okay. It's from the United States and it's a great way and so much fun mm -hmm. to do with your dog. So I'm all about well-being and doing it in a holistic sort of way. Wow. It's great fun. Tell me, how, how you feel is hurt? It's helped uh, in a way that Obviously, being outdoors is great for your um, for your skin. Oh. Yeah, being in the fresh air is fantastic for that. Mm -hmm. It's great for well-being. It makes you feel uh, more vibrant. You feel less lethargic when you're walking every day. Because really? um, as you get older, it gets harder to motivate yeah. yourself, isn't it? Um, and just the just the, the, the great feeling of um, of getting that blood rushing around your body mm -hmm. and moving, especially incorporating it with your dog, because a lot of people think, oh, the dog needs to be walked, and it's such a chore. Yeah. They don't realise that that's actually motivation for you to get up and get out, yeah. um, and you can do it with your animal, which everybody's having fun then at the same time. Mm -hmm. 
It's, wow. uh, it's a great way to live. It really, really is. And as you get older, it becomes more important to actually do a lot more exercise, but in a holistic, gentle sort of way. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't want to go to the gym really and pound the uh, Stairmaster anymore. That's true. Um, that gets, yeah. So, so this is really, really lovely. Tell me a little bit, how did you start? Um, I have always been interested in exercise, but I had a terrible back problem about three years ago okay. where um, I had disc problems. Mm -hmm. It's from, I'm quite tall, I'm six foot, but carrying children and moving furniture and just the wear and tear of life, really. Yeah. Um, it, was, it was very bad, I could barely uh, walk. So I went and had an MRI scan and went, they wanted to uh, give me some steroid injections, but I... Yeah. I didn't want to go down that road at, at my age being 44, um, so I just stuck with yoga um, and I, the remarkable difference from me just staying with my yoga class, okay. keeping up my, my postures okay. and and just training in, in yoga and staying with that, with that exercise, it really is true what they say about yoga, that it will... Um, it will definitely help with any back problems. Okay. Um, it's a wonderful way to, okay. to exercise. So yoga. the exercise, does it really help you? It's, it's, it's incredible, the, the difference. I mean, I'm, I'm back to um, uh, not being able to bend forward at all, not being able to really bend down, mm -hmm. to now back in, you know, becoming a, I'm a yoga teacher almost. So, oh, really? yeah, it's, it's amazing exercise. And it's not just good for your body, it's great for mm -hmm. your mind, for your soul. Um, relaxation, meditation. Oh, that's good. It's all about. It's so all about. You have experience for yoga now. A lot of experience, yes. Oh, wow, that's but, so amazing. <laughs> yeah, but like I said, this new. Um, I want to incorporate my dog now with it and start the doga, okay. which is an American um, uh, craze just to hit the UK. Wow. Um, they, that's very interesting. It's great. It's great. It, it was actually shown in Harrods a couple of months ago. Okay. They had a demonstration in Harrods in London. Wow. Um, so it's not in Wales yet, but I intend on being the first person in Wales to start the class. Okay. Uh, and it looks like a lot of fun. And the dogs really enjoy it as well. well it's a nice thing to do with your animal. So I hope we're going to go and see how the dog enjoys as well. You enjoy as well yourself? I love yoga. Oh, and I'm sure you would too, Charlie. Maybe today we'll get you doing some yoga. Yeah, I'm <laughs> going to enjoy it. I can't wait. <laughs> Have you ever done a yoga class? No yet. I think today's going to be my first day. And I hope because you enjoy it, I'm going to enjoy it too. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hello. Hi, I'm Tony. I'm the proprietor of Sig and Viv's Natural Pet Pantry. And uh, we decided to set up uh, this unique shop here in South Wales mm -hmm. um, because we are interested, well, primarily, we, it's for the love of dogs. Can you tell me what is this, this about? Yes, well, well, like we all love good chocolate, these are um, treats which dogs absolutely adore. They, they live for their treats daily. And these are all natural, um, no preservatives in them, full of vitamins and minerals. And this one's salmon and kelp, which is delicious, and a apple and carrot, which is my favorite. Because wow. you can actually give dogs uh, carrots to chew on as well, which is very, very healthy for them. So Brucey loves these, mm -hmm. and we love them, don't we, Tom? We certainly do. <laughs> How we can contact you? Uh, simply by uh, visiting our website at www.sigandvivs.com. Oh, thank you. And you? Yes, hi. You can reach me at Woodland Walkies. That's um, www.woodland-walkies.co.uk. Um, all my information's on there. But I'm usually hanging out with Tony these days anyway, Bruce and I. So, um, yeah, we're, 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 uh, we're here in South Wales. And, um, yeah, we'd love to hear from you guys. Aww.
of a royal family with VE Day 17 years on. So, Charlie, the Queen is coming any second now? Now we are going to see Queen. She's coming now. She's coming. So today is a very important day. It's the 70th anniversary of the uh, VE Day, Victory in Europe Day. So today we're celebrating. We are happy to see the royal family. Absolutely. And at the moment, she's in a dark blue outfit today. And she's talking to the bishop at the moment. I like the way she's dressed and I like her dress. Yep. She's elegant. She's so beautiful. Wow. And Prince Philip is uh, just behind. Oh, I see Prince Philip. It's all well family. Wow. I hope we enjoy today the celebration. And there's the Queen going into her car now. Oh. Queen, she's going for to her car now. We are happy to see Queen and Prince Philip. She's follow, he's following her. Okay, that's it. With VE70, today is a big day for everyone. And here comes Prince Charles now. Uh, he's talking to the uh, bishops at the moment. Hopefully, he may turn around and talk and show the crowd as well. Um, and then there's Camilla behind him at the same time. Going into the car now. And there's Boris Johnson there now, um, waiting for other members of the royal family to leave. Still mayor of London, and now elected as the representative for Uxbridge and Hillingdon as a member of Parliament. So Ian, what do you think about VE70? What do you think? I think it's a marvellous thing to sort of obviously recognise. My father was in the Second World War, so was my mother, and that's how they first met. So it's wonderful to sort of see that uh, it's, uh, it's wonderful to see how former uh, uh, enemies have come together as well uh, and are now allies. Oh, I think today is a big celebration. Let's see what is going to happen again. Absolutely.